Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Double D's Quickie Reviews for me and you. Now, some of you sharp-eyed people might notice that the background hasn't changed. That's because I always shoot a lot of videos on one day, and I load them up, edit them, and then post them throughout the week. Because, you know, I work hard, and after work, I just kind of want to sleep. Manic depression is a real pain in the ass. Anyways, I can't do it tomorrow, because tomorrow is... Well, for me, I don't know about you, don't know when you're watching this. Where are you? Where are you? Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Tomorrow is May 7th, and that's Free Comic Book Day here. And I'm hoping to do some videos during that, but you never know. Anyways, today's figure was something I found at Target, and it was on sale. I mean, big time sale. Big time sale. I, I paid seven bucks for it total. So it's like six fifty and then taxes. I'm gonna say seven. Anyways, I bought it because I need some fodder. And the character's not that bad. Someday I'll complete the build build a figure. Oh oh did I just spoil it? Did I spoil it? Did I spoil it? It's a Marvel Legend figure. Anyways, I bought this and here we go. It's a one. A two and a three and hit the like button. Thumbs up. Boom. Haha, <laughs> scared you. It's the Age of Apocalypse Cyclops. Now I've never been a big fan of this series in the comics or anything. It's a really 90s thing. But, you know. It was really cheap. And if you look at it, you can tell why. I mean, look at those gauntlets they got. That plastic is not done well. And shouldn't he have like a scar on his face where Wolverine snicked his ass before he blew off one of Wolverine's hands? Spoilers! Anyways, here's the back. Don't know how well that's going to show. Cyclops helped prisoners escape from Apocalypse prison camps in an attempt to force, be a force for good in a harsh disputation. Me no ready today. Future. I would love to get that. All the parts to build that Colossus, but that's not going to happen. I think I got like a leg. I have Magneto already. If you look back on the video, you notice that I trimmed his hair so that he actually looks like classic Magneto. And then there's Marvel's Rogue. Again, I bought that heavily discounted. And now Cyclops. Haven't seen Sabretooth, Marvel's Shadow Cat, Iceman, or Marvel's Legion. Marvel. Marvel really got to work on keeping the branding instead of letting it slip away. Then they have to use words like Marvel. So you notice the box in horrible shape. But um, that's the artwork on the back. The side. The side. The side. That side. And the bottom. See the bottom. See the bottom? Go look at the bottom. Let's um, pop it open and take a look. Let's see, how is this thing sealed? Mm hmm There we go. Remember to always close your opening tool. Safety forced. Anybody who gets that must be a red-green fan. So. Okay. Here's the box. Box is gone. Trash can. Okay, that's a build a figure part. Oh man, this Colossus must be huge. I have so many parts of so many different figures. Someday I'm going to Frankenstein their asses. Let's take a look at uh, Cyclops. Man, that's loud. Okay, let's see. The head sculpt. Bit of a VC in the hairline going on there. You can't really see up under there. I don't see any scars, though. Maybe some... No, I think that's an eyebrow. It's a weird-looking head sculpt. Might be a reason why all these figures are now on clearance. Okay, the body is a... Oh, it's a basic body. Nothing to write home about. No distinguishing marks, except for the fact that it is a body. Of course, the arm... 
gauntlets on the wrist. Then the shoulder pad. These parts are a separate piece, hard plastic. Well, almost like a softish plastic. And it, uh, other than that, when the arm right here with this thing here, which you can see is, I'm not sure if it's intentionally supposed to look a little rusty, but there it is. As I said, this body would make a, if you happen to find some of these, might, uh, the torso and the legs might make an excellent buck for some sort of custom. The head doesn't turn that much due to the, well, turn that far. I can turn it all the way around. Due to the, oh damn, the amount of hair, which was prevalent in this line. The hair is kind of weird in all of this line. The arm, this arm goes up that high and this arm goes up about the same height. Come down, they got an upper arm twisty. Why is my screen getting darker? Just the lights again. Yeah. The elbow is that's such a thin piece of plastic in there. It's just weird. But it is double jointed, I think. Though you're not gonna get that joint due to these huge ass gauntlets. Let's try on this side. Yeah, this side you get a bit more of it, but again, not very much because of these gauntlets. Wrist turn. He's got an ab crunch that well, does, doesn't do so bad. I mean, sure it looks like a big hole in his back when he does that. No idea why there's a peg hole in his back. Might be whatever this original figure was had a cape before they took the main body and turned him into him. He has. Full Van Dam action. The upper thigh turns. Double jointed knee. Upper calf. And of course, full. Come on. It's supposed to have foot movement, but that sucker is frozen stiff. I know some people boil their figures to get that out, but I don't have enough patience for that. These gauntlets are sculpted on, but they're real pain in the ass. They should really not be on there. And that's him. I mean, no accessories, no nothing. Would definitely not have paid full price for this figure. Boom. Now, the only other problem I have with this line is they did make a Wolverine. But I think he was, like, really tall. Look at it. As I said, good fodder if you want to make a custom. That head sculpt is fugly. And the lower arms, no, excuse me, and the gauntlets are just, it's not good. It's not a good figure. Good for customs. But as a representation of this character, which I didn't like the character in the first place, it's a, uh, yeah, screw it, it's a figure. About six and a half inches tall, maybe seven. Not going to bust out the old wrist ruler for that. And uh, for the amount I paid, it's okay. What do you think? What was your favorite story arc? Were you a fan of Age of Apocalypse or Extinction or any of those? Let me know down in the comments. If you're an actual comic book reader and not just a, a toy collector or a movie watcher. Cinematic universe. I mean, these guys haven't made it into the... i surprised they haven't done a cartoon movie on this yet. I mean, if it was DC, they would have been all over that. Anyways, there we go. Here's the figure. Looks okay. I'm sure most people, if they bought it, they bought it for this foot. They could complete their really cool looking figure, which seems to be a, a trend. The weaker the figure, they have like a weak figure, you know it's going to have a, a piece to the build a figure. Then you feel you need to buy it to get that. So if you go on eBay, you can probably get the thing a lot cheaper or a Facebook group. Wow, this big ass die has got double jointed too, though it's. Yeah. Dang, for a big figure. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Anyways, we're almost we're at 10 minutes now, and it's a quick review, so. 
Damn you, Scott. That's why nobody likes you. You're the Duke of the X-Men. And thank you for watching, and y'all have a nice night. Be good to each other, and Double D. Yep, not to say about this turd.